Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be making some lesser common and lesser useful chemicals, uh, bismuth nitrate and bismuth oxide. The reason I'm making these is for a friend who has a specific use for them. And the reason I'm posting a video on it is because I was unable to find a video of bismuth dissolving in nitric acid anywhere, so I thought I'd show it. So in the beaker right there, I've got my concentrated nitric acid and a shot of bismuth, and no reaction is observed which means I'm going to need to be heating it. So that's what's on the hot plate. So, heating is turned on. I'd also like to point out that I have a watch glass sitting on the beaker. And the reasons for that is, one, it'll help control the nitrogen dioxide fumes coming off, and two, if I need to heat it to the point where some of the nitric acid starts to boil, then it will reflux some of the nitric acid for a better yield. So anyway, I will start the video again once I see the bismuth start to dissolve in the nitric acid. It's been about 50 minutes after the bismuth first started bubbling in the solution, and a second piece of bismuth has been added since then. Uh, the reaction did seem to slow to a stop with no nitrogen oxides being produced, but the nitric acid bubbling, and I found that this was due to passivation happening, because the nitric acid became so concentrated that the bismuth formed a protective oxide layer. So when I added a small amount of distilled water, after decomposing some of the nitric acid, the reaction uh, picked up again, and a small amount of bismuth nitrate was precipitated in the solution. It dissolved again, though. So now the reaction looks like it's coming to a stop, with the bismuth only slightly bubbling. And uh, I'll wait for that to finish, and then collect the bismuth nitrate. I transferred the reaction to a smaller beaker, and as you can see, it's virtually come to a stop. What we have is bismuth slowly dissolving in mostly bismuth nitrate solution with a little bit of nitric acid left. Um, interesting thing to note is in the beaker that I did have it in, I poured out most of the solution and then added some water, and a white precipitate was formed. And I believe what this precipitate is is bismuth subnitrate because bismuth nitrate decomposes in water to form the subnitrate, which is a rather complex ion. So, in the presence of nitric acid, it stays as bismuth nitrate. Anyway, once the bismuth fully comes to a stop on bubbling, I'm going to take it out and precipitate out bismuth oxide with sodium hydroxide. Similar to the way that silver nitrate reacts with sodium hydroxide to form silver oxide, Bismuth nitrate reacts with sodium hydroxide to form bismuth oxide. So as soon as I'm ready to do that, I'm going to prepare a solution of rather strong sodium hydroxide and add it to the beaker. So now we have the bismuth nitrate solution. The bismuth has been done reacting. And I have my sodium hydroxide solution. You can see there's a precipitate of bismuth subnitrate and probably a little bismuth oxide because I tried adding a small amount of the nitrate solution. Now I'm going to add it and hope for precipitate. I did read that um, this reaction might need a little bit of heating to precipitate, so that's why it's still on the hot plate. However, heating's turned off right now. Immediately we see a dense white precipitate of a presumably bismuth subnitrate. Bismuth oxide is a yellow color. So heating is added, and hopefully with heating, we'll see a yellow precipitate of bismuth oxide. And immediately there, you can start to see it on top. The, uh, there's a yellow layer and a white layer. So upon the addition of some anhydrous sodium hydroxide, you can see the yellow precipitate of bismuth oxide formed. Now there's still some subnitrate down there, so I'm going to be adding a little more anhydrous sodium hydroxide. Oh, yeah, you gotta be careful. It boils kind of unpredictably. It's always safety is a first, so gloves, a splash mask are very necessary. So I'll keep heating gently, stirring and adding, adding sodium hydroxide until all of the precipitate has turned to this yellow bismuth oxide. 
This is the freshly precipitated bismuth oxide. The next step is going to be filtering it. So I'm going to run it through my gravity filtration setup here using two coffee filters. And um, I'll show you the finished product. So I went to filter my bismuth oxide precipitate and it decanted, which is a lot easier for me. So here's the decanted bismuth oxide. I'm just going to be washing it with water once to remove any soluble impurities and then letting it dry. And here's my finished product. Looks rather like sulfur. So yeah, bismuth oxide. Thanks for watching.